we made it to Denver. And today we're going to explore downtown Denver. Our first stop was Hammond's Candy Factory, which has been in Denver since 1920. They offer a free 30 minute tour of the factory, which we're about to do. After watching a quick video about the company's history, you're able to see employees make actual candy in real time. Here, an employee is prepping candy to make a candy cane. He started by heating the candy and adding recycled candy from the previous batch that was unused. Then, he dyed one batch of candy to make the red portion of the candy cane. The candy was then pulled to make the signature red and white colors, and then they're twisted together. Hammond starts making Christmas candy as early as February. After the tour, you are conveniently ushered into their candy shop. We couldn't resist buying a few items before leaving. Uh-oh, you found the cookies? It's over. It's all over now. Can you see your hat in your head? Representing. <laughs> Once we satisfied our sweet tooth, we headed to the Denver Zoo. One thing we take for granted about living near DC is the National Zoo is free. It is not free <laughs> here, it is $20 a person. Yeah. opened in 1896 with the donation of an orphaned American black bear. This was the first zoo in the United States to use naturalistic zoo enclosures rather than cages with bars. They have these fun, tiny bronze statues sprinkled throughout the park. And here's a turtle. So cute! After walking around the whole exhibit, we finally found lions! Our next stop was Larimer Square in downtown Denver, which is the oldest commercial block in the city. It was laid out in 1858. The street gets its name from General Larimer, who built Denver's first residence. The home's doors are made from coffins. Larimer founded Denver City on November 22, 1858. After the rapid decline in the price of silver in 1893, Denver endured a financial depression. Larimer Square became dilapidated and turned into the center for bars, cheap hotels, and pawn shops. It wasn't until the mid-1960s when Denverite Dana Crawford spearheaded the initiative to revitalize the square. Now it's one of the most popular areas in Denver.
One thing we really wanted to see was the big blue bear statue. It was designed by Lawrence Argent and was meant to bring an element of the natural landscape and wildlife of Colorado to the city. The big blue bear statue is 40 feet tall and weighs 10,000 pounds. So the bear was originally supposed to be a sandstone collar, but when they made a 3D prototype of it, it came out blue and they liked that color so much they decided to make it blue. <laughs> Not quite sure what he's doing. We had dinner at Ted's Montana Grill. Not only did they give us a bowl of pickles as a complimentary starter, but Corey was brave enough to order bison. Tastes like bison. <laughs> Does it? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had bison before. Is it good? Yeah. It's very good. We satisfied our sweet tooth even more by getting ice cream at Hidden Gems. Here you write your order on a card and then they blend the ice cream and toppings of your choice together in a machine. They also created their own alphabet which is deciphered on the back of your order card. to our car and tell me why it is two dollars for every ten minutes <laughs> i don't think i've ever spent that much on parking we paid the max of 24 dollars and i think we were here what like two hours yeah. that's crazy so it's conveniently located but holy moly i feel like we've spent so much money today <laughs> On our way back to the hotel, we got an incredible glimpse of the sunset over the Rocky Mountains. The image from the camera is not even close to what it looked like in reality. It was gorgeous. We just got back to our hotel for the night, and even with all the fun stuff we did today, this is the highlight. Yeah, the camera does not do it justice, but it was just breathtaking to drive and watch the sunset over the mountains and hopefully we can see it a little closer later on in our trip but honestly i don't even remember what we did in denver today because <laughs> like this was just the highlight so i'm glad that we made a video so we can watch it later yeah but this is like why we came here just for these beautiful views and to see scenes that we don't see in northern virginia so thanks for watching <laughs>